ongoing conflict is also impacting the safety of uh, maritime commercial traffic in the Indian Ocean, including some attacks in the vicinity of India. This is a matter of great concern to the international community and has a direct bearing on India's own energy and economy. This fraught situation is not to the benefit of any party. I thank uh, the French Presidency for convening this high-level open debate today. The conflict in Gaza has been raging for more than 100 days with uh, loss of lives, a deteriorating humanitarian situation, and rising instability in the region and beyond. Madam President, the ongoing conflict between Israel and Hamas has also led to large-scale loss of civilian lives, especially women and children, and has resulted in an alarming humanitarian crisis. This is clearly unacceptable, and we have strongly condemned the death of civilians. It is critical to prevent further escalation of violence and hostilities. It is imperative to avoid the loss of civilian lives in any conflict situation. India has a long-standing and uncompromising position against terrorism in all its forms and manifestations. We are aware that the immediate trigger for the conflict were the terror attacks in Israel on 7th October last year. There can be no justifications for terrorism and hostage taking. Our thoughts are with those who have been taken as hostages, and we reiterate the demand for their immediate and unconditional release. The ongoing conflict is also impacting the safety of uh, maritime commercial traffic in the Indian Ocean, including some attacks in the vicinity of India. This is a matter of great concern to the international community and has a direct bearing on India's own energy and economic interests. This fraught situation is not to the benefit of any party, and this must be clearly recognized. Madam President, the leadership of India is in constant touch with the leaders of the region, including those of Israel and Palestine, and we have voiced our views in multilateral fora. The message that India has conveyed since the start of this conflict is clear and consistent. It is important to prevent escalation to ensure continued delivery of humanitarian aid. The humanitarian situation needs to be addressed in earnest. We welcome the efforts of the UN and the international community in this regard. India has delivered shipments of uh, relief material to the Palestinian people in Gaza. We have also provided US dollar 5 million, including the US dollar 2.5 million in end December to the United Nations Relief and Work Agency for Palestine refugees in the Near East, which will go to support the agency's core programs and services, including education, health care, relief, and social services provided to Palestinian refugees. Madam President, I wish to conclude by reiterating India's longstanding support for a two-state solution where the Palestinian people are able to live freely in an independent country within secure borders with due regard to the security needs of Israel. We firmly believe that only a two-state solution achieved through direct and meaningful negotiations between both sides on final status issues will deliver an enduring peace that the people of Israel and Palestine desire and deserve. For this, we urge all parties to de-escalate, eschew violence, avoid provocative and escalatory actions, and work towards creating conditions for an early resumption of direct peace negotiations. Stay with the Times of India for news breaks, analysis, interviews and events. We bring you stories from your neighbourhood and from across the globe as well. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the like button and press the bell icon so you don't miss any of our videos.